Windows XP came out almost 25 years ago, and it's been out of support since 2014. So that kind of got me wondering, what would happen if I tried to install modern apps on Windows XP? Now I know what you're thinking. You're probably seeing Office 2010 over here and you're thinking, that's from like 15 years ago, it's not modern. Well, the whole point of this video is that I want to install the latest supported versions of apps. Now I know that one core API exists, but the whole point of this video is I want to see what it's like to install the latest supported versions of modern apps. At least on the bright side, we have something called Supermium, which is basically a recreation of Google Chrome to work on outdated operating systems like Windows XP all the way up to Windows 8.1. And in case you were wondering, yes, it does work on modern versions of Windows as well. So yeah, with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. So first off, I'm going to install Supermium. So I'm just going to open it, click yes, and wait for the setup to start. Okay, I want it to make a shortcut on the desktop, install for all users, and just click OK. And just like that, it's already done. So let's open it and see how it performs. That's honestly pretty good. It opened up right away. I'm not going to sign in. Wow. And it just looks like normal Google Chrome. So let's try to go to Wikipedia, for example. So wikipedia.org. And the website opens up pretty flawlessly. Here, let's try to search for Windows XP on here. And it loads just like it would if you're running it on Windows 10 or Windows 11. Runs pretty nicely. Now if I try Google. If I just type in Windows XP. This is honestly pretty smooth all things considered. Like the version of Windows XP I'm running isn't even the 64-bit version. Like I don't even have Internet Explorer 8 installed or any... Um, modern TLS stuff enabled. Like if I go to images here, like everything opens like it would. This is impressive. So yeah, if you want to at least uh, browse the internet in 2025 through um, Supermium, you can. It works just like Google Chrome normally would. So that's a big plus. So now let's go to installing Microsoft Office 2010. So now I'm going to put in my product key. Now I got to accept the license terms. So I'm going to just do that, click continue and install now. And now this part's probably going to take a really long time. So I'm just going to sit here and wait for it to install. So that actually did not take really long. It took a few minutes. So I'm just going to click close out of this and let's open some apps. Let's first try out Microsoft Word. No, I don't want to activate this. Let's type out Windows XP is a really great operating system and I'm typing this on Windows XP in 2025. All this stuff works. You can highlight things. You can make it look really nice. As you can see, this looks awesome. Come on, I gotta find Comic Sans. There we go, this is a work of art right here. And the size has to be 48, you know? We gotta emphasize, Windows XP is a really great operating system and I am actually typing this on Windows XP in 2025. So, yeah. That's Microsoft Word for you. No, we're not going to save it. Now let's try Excel. Windows XP. Windows Vista. Windows 7. Perfect. It works exactly like it would even if you're running it on Windows 11. So if I do all of this, it's perfect. This is exactly how you do it. And it's so readable too. Man, this is a mess. But if it's a mess, let's make it Comic Sans. There you go so big you can't even read it but all we know is that it says Windows XP 
So yeah, there you go. That's Microsoft Excel. Now let's try out PowerPoint. Windows XP, a great operating system. Let's make a new slide. Super cool operating system. Windows XP is a really cool operating system in 2025, even though it's almost 25 years old. We gotta make a Comic Sans. Come on, it's a great font. And you guys know the size has to be pretty uh, outrageous. Like, it's very readable, as you can tell. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. So at least we know that PowerPoint works as well. So that's all I'm going to test for Microsoft Office. Now let's get on to the last and final thing, which is VLC Media Player. So I'm going to install this, go through with the setup like normal, just click next and install. And now this part's going to take a bit. Let's see how long it takes. That pretty much took two seconds. So now let's just run VLC Media Player. And that's great, I can't even run it. So that's a little disappointing. As you can tell, Windows XP is really showing its age with the amount of apps that it supports now. If I really wanted to, I could just run a bunch of apps that are still usable today, but they're versions from like 2010 or 2012. But then that kind of defeat the purpose of this video. With Microsoft Office, it's a different story. They didn't make an alternate version exactly the way they did for super Meme, for example or for google chrome but microsoft office 2010 still works very similarly to the way that microsoft office does nowadays if you have other apps like steam for example those require heavy modifications to get working on windows xp but if you take a look at office it works very close enough as it does nowadays so that's all for this video thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video please make sure to subscribe to the channel and like my videos thanks have a great day.